We are Squawking Dead, a podcast pulverizing episodes of the Walking Dead universe. Sometimes we bring news, sometimes we make you laugh, sometimes we go deep. And just like last time, today we're talking about Better Call Saul. We're breaking down the third episode of the sixth and final season. Sharon D is here and Bridget. Fake excitement. Right that was now. very good. You were, you were yeah. about as animated as Dave was the other yesterday. Oh my gosh. That was something. Well, Rachel, I, we were wrong. <laughs> I'm yeah. not even sure. I'm not even sure I saw what I just saw. I thought Mike was going to do something to, to fix it. But I mean, what could Mike do? Take out all the fucking Salamancas? That would have started a fucking drug war. No. I fully believe that um, he would have just shot Nacho himself had Nacho not done it. I don't is that he, why? Is that why he was saying do I it? I think that. I think. I think he wanted him to, to kill Bol- Bolsa. Bolsa. So, so he would have a reason to just shoot him from there. Oh, do you yeah. think that was like a last act of kindness towards Mike that he like didn't want that to weigh on him? It's possible. Maybe. Or maybe he just wanted to go out on his own terms. You know, he was going <laughs> to die no matter what. He said his piece. He put it out there. Fuck you, Salamancas. I'm out. And, yeah. you know, yeah, like you said, to keep Mike from having to do it, he just went ahead and did it himself, you know. Took responsibility. Because, I mean, he's the reason he's there, technically. I mean, he, he made his own bed for all intents and purposes. God, that was just... Fuck. And that's the show, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know, know what else yeah. to say. I don't have much to say about it right now, because... I mean... Oof. Man, I was watching this episode, and I'm like, oh, I can't wait to talk about that. I can't wait to talk about that. And then that looks like, oh, man, this is gonna... Yeah, I got nothing. It all just drained out of me. I have like three pages of notes and I don't even want to go back and look at them. No, no, <laughs> no. Just throw them away. Just throw the whole thing away. Holy shit. What the fuck? Wow. What the fuck? I think this is going to sink in a little bit harder tomorrow. I might have a cry over it. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I was on I mean, the verge of tears with the conversation with his dad right i was having like this feels like a goodbye this this feels like a goodbye it was his goodbye i mean i don't i don't think he knew what was coming but i think he knew he was a dead man no matter what as 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 we're watching this i was thinking we know everybody in this scene survives to breaking bad except for nacho yeah that was also the the truck that they got werner in with the hand straps on the side (laughs) the truck that they were riding in that might be the same house where they they took the truck driver after mike stole all of the money out of the tire and left the truck driver Mm -hmm. alive then um they took the truck driver out and shot him i think that's the same place remember remember when 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 mike's horn went off and he went out there and gus had the i mean Mm -hmm. they had the the horn yeah yeah i think so too it looked it looked familiar i took some notes so if you guys want to just kind of start at the beginning and go through it a little bit just kind of put out what we think and then in a few days we'll thursday we'll record the after after we had time to think about it the scene with nacho looking out of the holes in oh, the, the oil tanker the thing oil tanker was uh. almost an exact replica of the shot of kim looking out the door peephole at lalo after lalo leaves mm. and oh the light the light reflected it's just it's opposite because nacho's looking one direction and kim's looking the other but Mm-hmm. The light reflected back on her face through the hole. It's, the, it's almost the exact same shot. Which doesn't make me feel good about Kim right now. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, you know, since they did kill off, Not- like Kim and Nacho were like the two biggest mysteries, right? Like, where are they in Breaking Bad? Mm-hmm. And so maybe since they did kill Nacho, maybe they won't kill Kim. Maybe but she's just hope. somewhere else. Yeah. Like, what if she's in prison? I almost feel like maybe she's in prison or something. I mean, the way she is pushing Jimmy... I mean, Saul, excuse me. Saul. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, like she corrected the name. So like, Mm -hmm. it's so weird because when you start this show, you think I'm never going to get used to calling him Jimmy. Yeah. 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 And then by the end of it now, I'm like, I'm never going to get used to calling him Saul. Right. Which is so weird. It's it's like, it's, (laughs) it's what's cool is they're not interchangeable. Like you can't use one for the other, really. Like Mm. they're, they're two different people <laughs> oh for sure yeah. for sure they're discussing th- what they're gonna do about the license plates and blah 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 
they're just doing this mundane everyday couple stuff, zipping each other up and mm-hmm. shaking <laughs> the tie and you know, fixing this and fixing that. And it's just this <laughs> mundane everyday thing, but yet they're discussing this <laughs> fucking outlandish crazy scheme and like try I, I just I just found that such a cool juxtaposition like just just how contradictory they are that was probably one of my favorite my favorite scenes of the whole episode was was them doing that I loved the I think the word you're looking for is audacious <laughs> like, yes that line was great and also just like says a lot about where Kim is now because whoof breaking the law and stealing someone's car is audacious now (laughs) i see according to kim kim brought suzanne the paperwork and she's like oh you didn't have to give this to me and you can just see the wheels turning your head like well if she's this straight of a shooter maybe she'll really talk to, to to jimmy saul about it yeah but what i loved was when she was watching them doing their watch couple thing at the screening and and the look she just like kind of rolled her eyes like some people are fucking kids man like (laughs) what is wrong with her see i thought that was almost like a hmm they're together can i play kim against him in some way yeah i mean i thought there was a little bit of that too but just the look on her face was like (laughs) i mean she also (laughs) like yuck (laughs) yeah if you remember, she was the one that they um, pulled the Kushada scam on with all the letters. She was the. Oh. She and Kim have have tangled hardcore before. That's when, th- but she didn't know they were together when she called Jimmy a scumbag to Kim's face. <laughs> yeah. Well, they uh, don't exactly make it like very obvious to people. Which, and now that you say that, they have been much more open about it mm-hmm. lately. Now, yeah, because yeah. they were very on the DL about it. Well, they were together for like the bulk of the show. Yes. And, and yeah, like no well, one's I mean, known. But, but like Schweiker and Coakley knew because he went to the draft dinner or whatever with her and stuff yeah. like that. But like at the courthouse, and they keep it very on the DL uh, mm. that, they're, that they're a couple. So when they were doing that together, it was, it was very eye-catching. You know, like, oh, shit. <laughs> I've also noticed yeah. that the further along the show is gone, the deeper they get into their scamming, the more they actually show them being affectionate with each other. Mm. I told you. I said uh, that the last yeah. the last time we did this. She's like, she's into it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, yeah. Let's see. Oh, when, when um Erickson was telling her about Lalo dying, and she's like, that's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Could she be any more obvious? Her joy her joy in that moment was absolutely monotone it was it was amazing <laughs> that's terrible. It was hilarious that's <laughs> terrible i was um i was really impressed with the da putting everything together i d- i did not think there was any way that they were gonna like catch on to that so quickly and she made some pretty good assumptions about how exactly that came mm-hmm. to be do you think kim might rat jimmy out like say he doesn't you know no don't (laughs) don't don't rat jimmy (laughs) don't talk you know so do you think maybe she's like he if he doesn't she will i don't know there was something weird in her tone of voice when she said she says it's what's right that made me think like do you want him to rat and i don't understand why she won't just give it to him straight yeah i don't know i don't know if she would i mean just the when she said you know you can either be a friend of the cartel or a rat there was a lot of different ways to phrase that. I feel like she wouldn't necessarily want to be a rat either. But as as Rachel and I were talking about before we came before we started recording, like we said in the last episode, no, yeah, don't, no, don't, but do it. <laughs> don't I don't like it, but I do. <laughs> yeah, don't do it. <laughs> what if she does rat Jimmy out and tries to get him in? prison and he finds out and that's why they're not together (sighs) i don't like that that'd be bad i don't either that might be too too far yeah like what if she bad kim what if she like saw the light when it came to like chuck's idea of of jimmy and she's like okay i'm just gonna long con him because that's what he would do to me so i'm gonna Mm -hmm. long con him into like putting him in a position where he can like never come back and never practice law again oh shit 
I, I really just don't know what to think about Kim, but I totally believe she's fucking with him. Like she's playing him. There's something and else I, there. I think she's playing him. She's doing everything with the contingency that she could play him if she has to. Like she doesn't want to maybe mm. like she, she doesn't want to have to play him to get what she wants, but she's totally setting yeah, it she's, so that she can, if she needs to. She's, she's like always got some body like, double. Like, yeah. She's making her own body <laughs> double. <playing. laughs> she's always got something uh, like in her back pocket. Mm-hmm. to like yeah. pin on him or whatever right but like he's all he's culpable for everything and she's like no i'm good i didn't do any of it <laughs> Without, well i mean and that's partly why they got married too so that they couldn't force her to, to say any you know she could be well remain- she doesn't have to but right the numbers on the keychains because again we know everything means something the two that were hanging in the Ballet parking were mm. 611 and 616. Howard's was 618. Any theories on what those numbers? I do not have a theory. I'm throwing it out there. Any theories on what those numbers could mean? No, I saw it when it was like laying on the floor or the ground or whatever in the parking garage, but it didn't. I mean, and nothing like, clicks. You, I want to think like episode numbers, but I know they're, they don't go that high. Like there's not going to be 13. that many episodes. Yeah. So. I'm not one to like pay such close attention to the details of previous episodes that I'd be able to connect it in any. That's mm-hmm. not my jam. That's your jam, Sharon. D. That's not my thing. <laughs> I just, I just relish in it when you share it with us. <laughs> I just want to say how fucking ghetto that key fob was. Oh how hilarious God. ghetto. <laughs> I loved it. it was awesome. I loved it. I loved it the great. way he was holding was it, great. and it was like spinning. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. It was awesome. uh, also, I love Huel, and I'm so glad he was in this episode. Mm-hmm. He was the bright, shining light in this episode of sadness. <laughs> it was like the most inappropriate comic relief, but when the twins picked up Hector's fucking wheelchair and started carrying him across the desert, because you're like. <gasps> Uh, and then they pick him up in the car. I was, I was like, okay, that was that was good because make way us to, laugh. Way a to little. break the mood. <laughs> him and his freaking bell. Just, oh, oh my, my god! Gosh. Nacho was like Lady Olena at the end of Game of Thrones. Tell Cersei it was me. You know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> at least he got to say it to his face. Bridget, you gotta watch Game of Thrones, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. It's it's if worth it for it, the you, gore if you, alone. If you if you'd seen it, you would know how funny that was. <laughs> <laughs> I trust you. <laughs> I don't want to turn this into a let's make Bridget watch Game of Thrones podcast. So <laughs> <laughs> that um, just leads to more of these podcasts <laughs> happening. <laughs> we're gonna get you to do it eventually. Oh, but I had, she talked I had to talk it. Rachel into it, but it, it was yeah. worth it, wasn't it? It was worth it. Yeah, it was yeah. it was good. Yeah. It was not what I imagined it would be. Dragons. I do, I do love gore. Dragons burning people. You can't beat it. Yeah. That's that's awesome. Dragons. Dragons mm-hmm. and gore. I'm gonna go listen to the insider podcast and um listen to some others and see what they have to say because I you know, they do make me think about different things. So, mm-hmm. you know, I'm, I'm sure yeah. there's a lot of shit I missed. This is it for tonight, guys. Wow. That's all I can say. Yep. Oof. Wow. Yeah, I did not expect them to do that this soon in the season. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I just feel like they just took out a big chunk of the story. So that was um, that was some Walking Dead out? shit right there. That was yeah, like, yeah, because yeah. yeah. we're none of us thought that was shit was gonna happen. Not really. Oh no, because I was like, there's no way they're gonna do that this this early into the no. season. I was like, he's gonna he's gonna it's run away and then. And then Mike's gonna like shoot like around them so yeah. that they can chase after him. And yeah, that was yeah. in my head. That was what was happening. Nope. Well, Big no. They surprised us, didn't they? <laughs> you got us. All right. Thank you for Thanks. joining us and uh, see us come back and catch us um, later in the week. We'll have the full podcast up with a lot more thoughts, maybe some crying, some crying, and some swearing. Probably. Probably a some lot crying, of swearing. Yes. A definitely, lot of swearing. definitely swearing. <laughs> definitely some swearing. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.